Alisa Niguel in Huntington Beach play a quarterfinal match in the CIF Southern Section Division I Soccer Championships. And the Mission Viejo Girls Lacrosse team hits the field for a preseason game against Corona Del Mar. We've got the highlights coming up next on South County Sports Zone. Hello everyone and welcome to South County Sports Zone. I'm Garth Wyckoff. Thanks for joining us again this week. We've got a great lineup card on deck. We have boys playoff soccer highlights. We also have boys and girls lacrosse action coming up. But first, we begin the show with girls water polo action in a semi-final match between El Segundo and Tribuco Hills. High School Girls Water Polo, CIF Southern Section Division IV semi-final between El Segundo and Tribuco Hills. First quarter, Evelyn Favre to Emily Ramirez, and the Lady Eagles are up 2-0 in the White Caps. El Segundo, possession again. It's Ramirez to Torres, one-timer. It's blocked and a good save by Maya Youngblood, the keeper between the pipes. Then it's Ramirez to Avery Torres again, but this time she shoots from way outside. It's a great shot. Right hand side goal, and the Eagles lead three zip. Mustangs get on the scoreboard. Starkey finds Anna Youngblood. She bounces it in left hand side, and the match is three to one. Eagles looking to answer. It's a loose ball in front. Ramirez puts a shot on goal, but it's another great save there by Youngblood. We go to the second. Good ball movement. Emily Ramirez. Fires it in, and it's 4-1. El Segundo, Lady Eagles in control. Tribuco on the other end. Mia Mohal, lob shot off the bar, but a good looking effort, nice shot. Just comes up short, and then Annie Youngblood shot on gold. That one's blocked, but Mohal gets the follow up and scores, and it's 6-2. El Segundo leads by four, just before the half. Emily Ramirez. She bounces it in, and the Lady Eagles have a 7-2 advantage at the break. Tribuco huddled up and coaching it up, looking to make a comeback. We go to the third. It's Devin Coates. Big, strong shot on goal, but knocked away by Kendall Donahue. Good save there by the keeper. El Segundo on the other end. Ramirez backhand goal, nice shot. It's 10-2, Lady Eagles. Long ball to Favre, on the break. Uncontested, shot, but a good save there. Left hand side, Maya Youngblood standing up and knocking it down. More pressure from El Segundo, Evelyn Hale. She scores, and the freshman extends the Eagles lead to 12 to two. We go to the fourth, and a Youngblood, she shoots. It's tipped ball, and it gets in there. And it's 13 to three, but it's still a 10 point advantage. Then later in the fourth, Kylie Byers, she scores for the Mustangs, but unfortunately, their playoff run ends right here. Final score on this one, El Segundo 13, Tribuco Hills four. Pass it over to boys soccer, CIF Southern Section Division One quarterfinals. Elisa Miguel taking on Huntington Beach Oilers. First half action, HB in the dark jersey. It's a ball into the area. There's a deflection. Second chance opportunity and a score. Kalani Delarole with the goal for HB and the Oilers lead it 1-0. Then it's Nico Ruiz and he will draw the foul in the box. And that is a penalty kick for the Oilers. He's fired up, and so Teddy Melitis, he takes the kick, and he bangs it in there, and HB goes up two zip in a playoff game. That's huge in soccer. More first half action, and Della Roll with the steal and the nice moves, shoots and scores, and Kalani Della Roll 
extends the lead to three for HB. Having herself quite a first half. And then just before, and then just before the break, it's a set piece here for HB. And Steele Ariaski makes a great save there for Aliso. That's the guy right there in the green uniform. So we head to halftime and the Oilers lead three to nothing and they're in a good position here. Second half, Elisa with a ball into the area. Zach Daniels gets a foot on it. And to check it out, it's a beautiful headshot by Sawyer Sachin and the Wolverines trim the lead to three to one. Big time goal right there. Aliso scoring opportunity again. It's a shot on goal and a good save by Daniel Kotoski, the keeper for HB. And it's a set piece again for Aliso. Carvalho, he lobs it in and it just misses and sails out of bounds. Good looking scoring opportunity there for Aliso. And it's a corner kick for HB. It's a header on goal, it's saved. A live loose ball and then Ariaski makes the save for Aliso. That was a close call. HB had another opportunity. And then later in the second half, Kirkland has an opportunity. Feeds Tyler Tiki Kakimoto. And the senior midfielder adds the final goal of the match here. And the Oilers, they advance out of the quarterfinals. They're moving on to the Division I semis. Final score, Huntington Beach four, Alicia Nagel one, Kalani Delarol Jr., two goals in the match. It's that time to step aside for a quick timeout. Stay with us. Coming up, I've got boys and girls lacrosse highlights coming up next on South County Sports Zone right after the break. The greatest thrills and excitement are awaiting you right in your own backyard. The CIF Southern Section and your SoCal Ford dealers encourage you to go to a game at your local high school. Unbelievable action is riding your community. You'll be amazed at what you've been missing. Supporting your local school has never been more fun. Go to a game this week. Welcome back to South County Sports Zone. I'm Garth Wyckoff. We certainly appreciate you sticking around. Time to move on to boys and girls lacrosse high school highlights. And we begin with a preseason game between Simi Valley and Tribuco Hills. High school boys lacrosse. The Simi Valley Pioneers out of the Independent League taking on the Tribuco Hills Mustangs right there in the white jerseys. First quarter action, this is Daryl Curtis. Does a good job here, he'll take on the check, shoots, he scores, and the Mustangs lead it four to zero. A big fella. Here's another shot on goal by Tribuco, but it's a good save, but saved again here. Double save by the Simi Valley keeper. Tribuco possession. They'll get the pass to Curtis. Curtis slings it in, a good looking cage shot there, and the Mustangs go up five zip against the Pioneers. Incomplete control on this one, we go to the second. Roth feeds Jack Armstrong, and he strong arms it in, and the Mustangs extend the lead to seven. Then it's Curtis from behind the net, finds Trishan Bassett, he scores, and the lead is now eight to nothing. Tribuco in control. The Mustangs in a full gallop in this one. Then Curtis, check this out, fires a hard shot, but a great save by the Pioneers goalkeeper. He's feeling good knocking that one away. Halftime, Tribuco Hills feeling good with an eight goal advantage at the break. We go to the third. Tribuco pass to Bassett, and he finds the back of the net, and the Mustangs lead is 9-0 over Simi Valley. And then Armstrong, it's an assist to Salas. Backhand score, Tribuco on complete control. They lead by a dozen, that's 12. If you're counting at home, it's 12 to nothing. Simi Valley gets on the scoreboard and it's Alex Hemphill 
With the long shot goal for the Pioneers, they avoid the shutout, and now it's 12 to one. Fired up and stoked on that one. We go to the fourth. Fourth quarter and Tribuco is starting to pour it on. Bassett with another goal and the lead is 15 to one for the Mustangs. Good looking start to preseason for their program and Jack Armstrong adds one more. The spin move avoids the check and he scores. And that'll be the final. Final cage in this one, if you will. As Tribuco, Tribuco Hills rolls in this preseason game. Final score, Tribuco Hills Mustang 17. Simi Valley Pioneers won. Pass it on over to Corona Del Mar High School. Preseason girls lacrosse. Mission Viejo on the road, taking on the Lady Sea Kings in the home white jersey. First half action, it's a ground ball scooped up by Abby Grace. She cradles, she shoots, she scores, and it's one to nothing, CDM. Next possession here, our set possession for Corona Del Mar, and Grace, she'll go right hand side, she scores again, and it's two to nothing. Lady Sea Kings out in front, and then Abby Grace, check this out, she's gonna make it three in a row. There it is, she scores, and that's a hat trick in the first half, and it's a three nothing advantage for Corona Del Mar. Later in the first, Kate Miller makes a great move in front of the net, she gets the goal, and CDM goes up six to nothing. And it's Katie Kittleson on the break, passes to Frankie Garcia. She gets the cage and Corona Del Mar leads seven to zip. Just before the half, C. Kings with another scoring opportunity. It's a shot on goal, but a good save here by Becca Konecki, the goalkeeper for Mission Viejo. Go to halftime, Mission trails by seven and looking to rally in the second half. We pick things up midway through the second half. It's a bang bang play and a goal for Kate Kiefer. And Corona de Mar is up 11 to nothing. Penalty shot for Mission Viejo. Melissa Twelman fires it in for the Diablos. And it's 11 to one, no shutout going on here. This is Bell Grace with a shot on goal for CDM, but another good save by Konecki for Mission Viejo. Sea Kings, Ava Chambers, she crosses to Grace. Great pass, good shot, and it's 12-1, Lady Sea Kings. And then late in the second half, Mission gets back on the scoreboard, some nice passing here. And then Melissa Elihahi gets the goal, but Corona Del Mar gets the win in this one. Final score, Corona Del Mar 12, Mission Viejo 2, Abby Grace led the way with four goals for Corona Del Mar. All right, gang, that's going to wrap up the high school highlights for this week. But before we go, I want to tell you about a very special event coming up to the city of Mission Viejo. It's the second annual Conrad Rulin Charity Tennis and Pickleball Tournament. It'll be held at the Marguerite Tennis Pavilion on February 26th and 27th of this year. Conrad Rulin, a graduate of Mission Viejo High School. He also played professional football for the New York Jets and the Baltimore Ravens. He suffered a brain aneurysm and passed away back in December 2016 at the young age of 29. Now for more information on how to support this fantastic event or to participate in the tournament, please visit conradrulin.com. We certainly appreciate it. We also appreciate you joining us again this week on South County Sports Zone. You can also check us out. Look back on past episodes, cityofmissionviejo.org forward slash MVTV. Or you can also check out avcity.org as well. I'm Garth Wyckoff, and we'll see you next time right here on South County Sports Zone. <laughs>